Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. To all the Rip Right Hadith disciples, YouTubers, and viewers, welcome back to another segment on Rip Right HD. Today, I'm going to be giving you nine hacks on how to increase your pull up reps. So, you're going to be getting tips, techniques, as well as tricks. Stay tuned. <laughs> The first hack or the first tip in increasing your pull-up reps is you have to be consistent. You have to come out on a daily basis and actually try to increase your pull-up reps. Some people think that they're going to increase their reps by sitting on the couch, watching YouTube, and magically, boom, 30 a clip, 40 a clip, 50 a clip. If you want to increase your pull-up reps, you have to just do it. Nike sign. Y'all know how it go. Come out and increase your reps by being consistent. Not one day here, the next month, two days here, the next month, three days here. No, back to back to back. That's the first hack, being consistent. Number two is once you're able to start doing pull-ups, you have to be explosive. Slow. Your pull-ups can't be slow. So if you're trying to increase your reps and you're doing pull-ups like this, It'll never work. So to increase it, you have to do what? Explode. <laughs> your reps have to be fast in order to increase your reps. Now, number three. There's a trick that we have. I call it beard over the bar. So you have to get your beard over the bar. So in these competitions, they're looking for you to lock out and actually get your chin over in which I call it the beard over the bar. So if you hold your head straight, you're gonna be pulling more. So if I hold my head straight and try to get my chin over, I'm gonna be pulling more. I see people do pull-ups like that. So now, if you raise your head and then pull, chin over, it's easier. Those couple of centimeters or inches, they count when it comes to working out. They count so step number four into increasing your reps is you have to let go on the way down you can't resist and this is what I mean you're exploding up but then you slowly coming down or you controlling it coming down no the less you control, control. the less stress and energy you're using so you drop down it's hard on the joints eventually after doing this for a while you might have to you know chiropractic cup and you see a lot of the people who do competitions I'm just giving you the tips and the tricks to actually get those high reps that you're looking for so on the way down we doing what you letting go less energy you got it so number five this is a trick that you see done a lot, but there's no name to it, so I put a name to it. I call it the reverse throttle. Now, if you've ever been on a motorcycle, a dirt bike, you know when you squeeze the throttle to accelerate, you're going this way. But in pull-ups, it's actually going the opposite way. So I call it a reverse throttle. This is one of the tips and the tricks on how to actually get more reps. You release the bar a little bit on your way up and then you reverse throttle. So follow me. I'm going to give you all of the tips and the tricks in this one pull up right now that I did before this. So one, two, three, four, and now five. Here we go. Could you see that? Exploding, dropping down, chin up, and I hit my chin. And you're releasing the bar, and you're going just like that. Number six is what we like to call the dead hang hold. When you get tired 
and you're on the pull-up bar, but you want to get more reps in, then you rest. That's why when you see them do a muscle-up or muscle-up competitions, they tell them as soon as you go up there, you got to come back down and do another muscle-up. Ain't no resting up top. These are the secrets. These are the tricks. Dead hang hole, I can do that forever. Not literally, but you know what I'm saying. So, when you get tired after hitting 30 reps, 32 reps, 33 reps, and you're trying to get more reps, then you just hang. You gather yourself, hang, then pull. Gather yourself, hang, then pull. Right? So number seven, you see this a lot after the dead hang hold. Now, you gotta get more reps in, but you can't let go of the bar. So you dead hang hold, and then they have a thing in which you do a, a slight swing like you're about to do a muscle up, but you're not kicking. And it's clean. It's like a little bit in the waist. You see that? These are really like at the end when you're dead hanging, holding, and you're tired and exhausted, and now you're doing an out, in, and over routine. Just an out, in, and over routine. So, once again, right? Like you're about to do a muscle up. So, Number eight is your breathing. Your breathing counts with everything you do as far as working out. Holding your breath is not gonna work if you're holding Did your I breath. just say holding your breath is not gonna work if you're holding your breath? I meant high reps is not gonna work if you're holding your breath. So when you're pulling, you wanna do what? You wanna breathe out. But then when you're releasing, coming down, you wanna, you wanna pull in, right? So, always breathing out. And you gotta control your breathing because if you don't control your breathing, it's gonna tie you out faster and you won't be able to hit that high rep range that you're looking to hit. So number nine, and this is key to almost everything you do in life, mindset. If I'm watching people do high reps, but I'm telling myself, I'll never be able to do a high rep like that. I would never be able to do 30 pull-ups, or I'll never be able to do 40 pull-ups. Then guess what happens? You won't be able to do 30 pull-ups, or you won't be able to do 40 pull-ups, because you already told yourself that you won't be able to do it. So these nine hacks, I'm, I guarantee you, if you follow them rigidly, and you do this for 60 days, 90 days, 120 days, you are gonna see your reps in pull-ups increase tremendously. I've been working out about two years consistently, but as far as doing high repetitions, I just started. And by watching and experimenting, I was able to gather these in nine, hacks on how to increase the reps and it's been working wonderful for me. okay guys i'm gonna try a high rep number right now as you can see yesterday i worked out crazy so right now i'm pretty sore today's my rest day but i'm gonna show you some of the techniques that i'm using because consistency is always the key i work out every day almost then you know i got the mindset to do high reps but as you can see, once I got tired here, I dead hang hold. Then I started to do the little swing, the out, up and over. As you can see, I'm doing the release, reverse throttle grip that I said. And I'm trying to keep my chin high so that I can pull less. And I'm going up, exploding. But then I'm also releasing to drop straight down so I don't use that much stress i thought it was 30 reps but unfortunately it was only 29 i miscounted i'm telling you guys these are the hacks to increase reps and also rest quiet is kept my 
rep range is higher than 30. But that's after showing y'all how to increase your reps when it comes to pull-ups. Like, subscribe, please comment down below and share. Rip right HD, man. Summer is coming. And we are coming like the the wave. I mean like it's either you get on your surfing board or drown. Indeed in the body, literal translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh, when